this is a follow-up from the astrology video I did yesterday on October 1st. Today is October 2nd. Some of the things like the semiconductors, that's what I was trying to say yesterday. I want to actually show you so that you can do your own research. This is what I was talking about when it comes to uh, semiconductors. Look it up. Tiny Town just got slammed by Helene, could massively disrupt the tech industry. North Carolina floods threaten mines key to global electronics industry. So semiconductors, the quartz for the semiconductors and the silica in, in the quartz. That's what I was saying yesterday. This is about the ILA strike, the supply chain issues. And this is where I was telling you for every day we're on strike, this is what's affected. So day one through five, initial disruption begins, backlogs start to form at affected ports. Some shipments may be rerouted, but significant delays are expected. We get to day six through 10. Backlogs continue to grow. This is if the strike continues for six to 10 days. Shipping companies may, give, may begin to prioritize essential goods leading to delays for non-essential goods. Remember, this is only six to, day, six to 10 days of the strike continuing. Days 11 through 15, the impact of the strike becomes more severe. Shortages of certain goods may start to appear in retail stores and warehouses. 16 to 20, supply chain disruption reaches a critical point. Businesses may begin to experience significant financial losses due to delays and shortages. This is where in the video I did yesterday, I was saying like, we are vulnerable here in the US. I don't know how many people are paying attention and like people don't pay attention until it affects them personally. This is gonna affect all of us personally. I don't care if you're on the East Coast, the West Coast, here in the US, it's going to affect us. And then it spreads in ripples from there to other countries. Day 21 plus, the longer the strike continues, the more difficult it will become to recover. Supply chains may experience long-term disruption. Some businesses may face permanent closure. Now, here's some important considerations. The ability of shipping companies to reroute shipments can mitigate some of the impact, but can be costly and time consuming. Inventory levels, businesses with sufficient inventory levels may be able to absorb some of the initial shock, but prolonged disruptions can, can deplete even the largest stockpiles. Prolonged strike can have significant negative impact on the overall economy, leading to job losses, reduced consumer spending, increased inflation. This is what I was talking about yesterday. Um, so I just wanted to come on and quickly show you, do your own research. 